Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. Today we have one of their true intentions in love. And I hope you guys are all well, right? This reading is going to be for anybody with Sagittarius. Uh, a lot of Sag in their chart, right? And anybody else who, you know, feels like they resonate with the reading. So today we have uh, the camera a little bit, you know, kind of zoomed in here. Uh, so you guys can see the cards better. And I have all the cards here today. So this is just how I've kind of chosen to do this, right? Variety is the spice of life. Yeah, uh, routine is the death of life. Yeah, I feel like it is. And I'm sure somebody else, uh, some poet put it in a better way, right? So let's get in uh, to this. And looking at your reading, Sagittarius, right now, uh, you are like hoping that something's going to come together. I feel like you are fearing possibly, or maybe just doubting, uh, it doesn't have to be a major fear, but you have the devil next to the Ten of Wands reversed. And so this Ten of Wands in this deck is things coming together, making plans, kind of sealing the deal. Yeah. And so, but this is in the reverse next to the devil. Yeah. So maybe, you know, we have a Capricorn here possibly because we have the Knight and the King of Pentacles. Doesn't have to be, no, especially in a general read, but uh, but I feel like you are kind of afraid here or just maybe doubting or fearing. There's some kind of negative kind of negativity here, uh, in your thoughts that this is not going to come together. Yeah. And so, and your person in their challenge here is the Knight of cups. And this is the Knight of cups where he is being offered a cup by this beautiful woman. And, you know, here he is the night and he traveled to the river and he is accepting it. He's reaching for it. And I do believe that your person is kind of fearing that you're not going to accept their cup. So, you know, I feel like this person is coming to offer you their love. And it's really, it's a big love here, Sagittarius. It is uh, because we have the naked couple here right here and this is the world card and this is in their current energy yeah and here they are hoping or you know maybe desiring the knight of wands and i believe that is you uh but i believe this person is hoping once they take action and they you know come with their heart in their hand in this reading yeah that you're going to be down for this right and here's the naked couple and uh you can see they're young by their uh their you know their muscle tone good god yes and, uh, and so he's, hu they're hugging, embracing very tightly. This is the end of a journey for this person. <clears throat> and I believe it's the beginning of a journey that they are, they, they so desire with you. Yeah. We have in your person's kind of fear here is this five of swords. Like you're going to, you know, beat them down Sagittarius. So you just sharpened your, you know, your sword and you're getting ready to, you know, defeat them. I feel like they're afraid here that this is, you know, and this person is like struggling with that. Yeah. And you may be struggling as well. Like, well, is this going to come together or not? Yeah. I feel like that's what you are. Mm -hmm. And, you know, here we have the magician and the fool in your energy. Like, right here the devil's in the challenge like i really want to manifest this and this is an adventure it is with the fool there could be you could be maybe maybe kind of doubting that this person never really had the courage or because i feel like you were in the dark over here about whether or not this will come together yeah and you know when we see the fool next to the magician I feel like, you know, the magician is, it's, it's not exactly courage, but it's like having everything you need for this, right? To kind of, you know, put this into action or kind of make it happen with it, especially next to the fool. So there is somebody in this reading who is either married or has kids because we have affairs with your family and then we have the man of blood here. Yeah, unless, you know, your person is, you know, phlebotomist or, uh, or a vampire, Sagittarius, right? Yeah, with the man of blood. Okay. Whoever they are, Sagittarius, this person, I believe, wants to lift a veil. Unless you do. But you look like you're the one who's kind of waiting and kind of hoping that this is going to 
this is going to happen because I feel like your person, uh, the readings could be switched though, right? They could. Your person looks like they are in this energy where they are the ones that have to take action. Yeah, because they are the ones who kind of look like, you know, they could be defeated or something like that. There's a veil here that has to be lifted. Maybe somebody has kids or a family and they didn't tell you. Possibly. We have also the leg, right? Yeah, here he is, this guy here with his muscly, kind of skinny. Not really skinny, just very muscly, right? Stepping into a new experience. Muscles or not, Sagittarius, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel like you're going to be stepping into a new experience with this person. And this is what you are hoping is going to kind of pan out here. And we have the five of crystals. This is persistence and new possibilities. Maybe this person, uh, maybe you know, maybe they're in a family and they have to tell somebody else, hey, uh, I'm going off, you know, I'm going to, uh, I'm going off to the army with Sagittarius. I'm going to fight and... Uh, kind of, you know, we're going to fight together, me and Sagittarius against the world. It, it might be one of these situations here. We have the Passover here. And this card typically talks about, this is the Tree of Life Oracle, right? It, it typically talks about a sac sacrifice, like in the Bible, right? Uh, I feel like it was the Israelites that wanted to be rescued by God, yeah, from the Egyptians, right, back in the day and way long time ago. This is at least what they have put in the Bible. Uh, honestly, you guys, uh, you know, we, the word history is his story. So they have lied about, you know, so much that is in the history books. Why not lie about the Bible too? Yeah, sorry for anybody who kind of really believes what's in there. Uh, I believe some of it's true, but uh, some of it is just to continue with their kind of mind screwy screwery yeah mm -hmm. so getting back to this though Sagittarius because you know the Passover it can be like a sacrifice because you know God told the Israelites I don't remember how he told them I don't I mean, he maybe might have sent an angel I don't remember but he told them if you want to be rescued or saved and you want to come out of slavery you need to slay a lamb and put the the blood of the lamb on the front door so I'll know that you are the one, right? So there could be a sacrifice that is, uh, that is needed here, right? An ending kind of, or a giving up of something. And this can be waiting. It's possible that you're dealing with somebody who is waiting to lift the veil. Yeah. Somebody here wants to like expose a secret or tell a truth or come clean. Because it does look like there's been some waiting here. Maybe because it may be waiting for the right time or planning possibly. Somebody here has been like your person or you has needed to rest or take a time out, the four of swords. And this time out could have been for planning and it could be because somebody was maybe sick or Maybe just dealing with stress. A lot of times people just need to slow down. Could be just, could, could be you. Could be like unrelated to this, right? Possibly. Right? Mm-hmm. So we have surrender to the sweetness, Venus energy, pleasure, joy, make love to life. Yeah, and these two people are here. Uh, we have this beautiful African lady here and, uh, Maybe she's in the Caribbean, not really sure, but here she is, and her man is in the water here, and it's really, really beautiful here. Yeah. Yeah, the bitches didn't show up and said, you need a permit to come swim here, or you need, right? Yeah, you need to pay all this money to get in. Yeah, even though you already pay, it's already in your, taken out in your taxes. Mm-hmm. So right here, jump in. This is adventure and say yes to change. Your life is going to change, Sagittarius. It is. And it's going to change for the better. And I feel like you are kind of really hoping here that this is going to come together for you. And I have a feeling it is. Yeah. The position of authority is here. And somebody may be in that position. 
And I feel like this is probably your person who has to, uh, it could be you too, depending on kind of the drama or the inner or the dynamic between you both. Now with this position of authority, you might just be a queen Sagittarius, right? Just never mind power and light. I'm just a damn queen or a king. Okay. Forget all this, uh, this philosophy that you're bringing here, <laughs> but the position of authority could be where it's in somebody's the ball's in their court and it's up to them to take the power and authority to get this show on the road. Yeah. To get this party started. Sagittarius, get this party started. Da, 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 da. Right? I feel like that's what you want here. Might not like that song. <laughs> Some kind of 80s. It's kind of a dance, a house, right? A kind of a house song. Mm -hmm. Those are great to work out to, aren't they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. with some lyrics in it and not too techno no good god techno makes it sound like you're turning on your computer right and it kind of came alive buzz 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 and all this crazy crazy business right yeah no can't stand techno not really it's not based on real music it's not based on uh scales melodies no it's not you guys So, you know, this is going to happen for you. I feel like it is Sagittarius adventure. Say yes to change. Jump in here. You have the fool. This is what you've been wanting. This is showing up in the past. We do have one kind of humdinger here, Sagittarius or dinger or kind of a jab here. Right. And we have forces working against you. Now, you know, that could be, uh, it's not this person who's coming. Good God, no. You could be saying that you've been saying that for, for eons here, but you know, we're looking at something really deep here, right? And somebody could be coming. Maybe they have kids or they have a family because of the man of blood and family affairs. Yeah. So with that being said, uh, maybe this is why, you know, maybe this is why there's forces working against you. Let's get a car for Sagittarius on the devil. Yeah. Let's see what we have. Why? That's in your challenge. Yeah. You're like kind of, you feel stuck because you maybe have been waiting a long time with the Passover card. You might be waiting for them to come to you and say, I really love you. And that could be part of lifting the veil. Right? Let's see what else we have. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, somebody, it's possible here you need, maybe you need somebody to break up with somebody. I mean, your person, not somebody here. Maybe you need them to break up with somebody. Because we have two tens here and they are completions. This world card is a completion. For sure it is. Like an ending. Or closing a cycle and starting a new one, right? Because, I mean, you know. Maybe you're afraid here. Somebody might lose money here. Ten of Pentacles reversed. For, I feel like this, there is probably is a family. There's a family here in this card. We have family affairs here with the tree. Let's get another card on your challenge. Wheel of Fortune. That might be you. I feel like it is in your own reading. But I do feel like you want this person to take a chance or a risk. Because the Fool is in the reading. And they, the, the, and in the challenge for them is the Knight of Cups. Like, like they have to take a chance and you might not, this could just be for them to take action and do it in their challenge. But why would that be a challenge for them? Maybe they're a man of blood, family man, or also here that you're not going to like, you're not going to accept it possibly. There's, they have a doubt here for sure, Sagittarius. And so with the wheel of fortune, with the devil in the challenge, this could be like, you're afraid they're not going to take a risk. The wheel of fortune is about risks as well. It's about a whole bunch of, whole bunch of stuff, right? You might feel afraid that this person is not going to take a chance here. You look like you're kind of all kind of feeling stuck here. 
that they may not take a chance on you. And here, down here, uh, and it could possibly be just a chance for them because they are a man of blood, right? Right. If they're if they're a family man and, you know, you're single waiting around as, you know, uh, the queen of hearts kind of just kind of waiting for them. That could be, you know, that could be their risk as well. Let's get one more card on the challenge here. Doesn't necessarily let's see what we have justice. In this reading, it's usually in this deck, it's usually about weighing the pros and cons. And yeah, it can be about contracts marriage is a contract maybe they're married it could be about the truth it's supposed to be about the truth but you know here in this uh fake uh the fake democracy that we live in it's it, there's no truth yeah everything is they're they're behind everything if you guys know what i mean yeah they are everything everything you see in the news they're behind it so they can you know have their way with us and say, oh, look, we need to do this. We need to take that away. Take that away so we can provide safety. Blah, bullshit. So in this justice card here, Sagittarius, in the challenge here, we have three majors in the challenge for you and the Ten of Pentacles. These are all huge cards. You might be feeling here that this is your justice. That in your heart, you feel like you really kind of deserve this person. And I feel like there's no communication here. And that you're kind of waiting for that. And this is, there's like a lack of communication here where somebody's trying to guess what the other person is feeling. Which is not helping the situation. Right? You can't always, well, well, I think this and I think that. I mean right the hermit oh my goodness gracious now we have four majors and a completion here ten of pentacles this might be virgo for some because the king and the knight of pentacles is here but you know this hermit with the devil and you know i feel like you want this person to see the truth Find their truth about this. And they already have. And this is what I mean about a lack of communication. Yeah. Like you're trying to figure out kind of what's on this, per what, what they're feeling about this or thinking or what they're going to do. And here they are doing the same. Let's get another car for Sagittarius here. We have the star. Look at all these majors here. One, two, four, six, seven majors here with like, I don't know, 10 cards maybe here at the top. So you're hoping for a new beginning. I have it here with the 10 of wands reversed. You're hoping. You could be hoping that something else will come on, will become undone. Yeah. And like, you could be hoping something else is not going to work, work out. So you can have this opportunity with this person. And I feel like you probably are. We have the King of Wands for you. Let's see what we have. Seven of Swords. So you're afraid here that this person maybe is not planning this. This can be about an escape usually. In this deck, it's about deception. Typically. Maybe you are afraid that this person is still kind of planning here because he's putting these swords together. There's a plan here. It's not just, you know, let me put my Legos together and, uh, and go home and leave the circus today. Let's see what else we have. And the sevens are always about assessing. I feel like you are afraid this person will not figure this out, possibly. Two of swords. You might be afraid. I feel like in, on some level, you like could be feeling like this person cannot possibly decide what to do because maybe they, uh, in your heart, you might feel like they have been, they're, they're at a stalemate. Maybe you might be thinking that. 
You could be a fearing that this person will not have the courage here. Because the king of uh, wands here, who is you, I believe, though, he has a huge lion here. Right? It's about courage and, you know, inner strength. So we have the king of swords down here for them. And they've already taken in the past. They already took this decision to come. Because this shows up in the past and he's grabbing the sword. So they already did this, Sagittarius. Hopefully they're not going to try to give you a haircut with that huge sword, right? Yeah, it wouldn't, wouldn't, it wouldn't work out for you, Sagittarius, right? <laughs> uh, I remember one time I was, a, a, I was a up and coming. I was just a student in cosmetology and uh, I cut the neighbor's hair. And I thought I knew what I was doing. And oh my goodness, I really kind of butchered his hair. He was a really nice guy. He started getting, you know, he ran away from the chair, you guys. It's, you know, it's, I can laugh now, but I remember my husband, he goes, why did you do that? You, look what you did to Bruce. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't do it on purpose, right? I, I thought I was just doing my, uh, you know, kind of like my hours for practice. I didn't think it was going to end up like that, no. Your person, I think, is afraid, Sagittarius, you're not going to accept this. Knight of Cups. This could be, this is in their challenge. And they might be afraid here because of maybe past deception. Because for some of you guys, you could be uh, maybe doubting or kind of doubting them or fearing that they're going to bring you some more deception. Seven of Swords in your fear or doubt. Let's see why they have the, now they have the world card here. Wow. This person is, is like dreaming about you. Three of swords is here. This is in, in this deck here. The swords are out, but this can talk about relationship troubles. Maybe you had that with them in the past. Maybe there's a third person here. So the knight of pentacles, let's get a card on this. And here they are. Wow. Let's, let's get another card for them. This is a, a trip over here. Six of Swords. I feel like they probably have to transition out of something. Yeah, this person has some fear. Then maybe this is why they haven't shown up yet. So here in the Knight of Cups, right here, you know, yeah, maybe they have to transition out of something, walk away from something. Especially next to the Three of Swords. Knight of Cups is in their challenge. Now showing up with the Queen of Wands. Yeah, they're not sure you're going to take your, their, your offer. Their offer. Here she is reaching for the sunflower. They're afraid you're not going to reach for this. For me, you look like you were a little bit like kind of not force assertive with them like hey you know what uh, don't show up unless you show up the right way you know if you're still with sherry don't show up let's get another card for sagittarius's person and the seven of pentacles typically in this deck is determination this person is determined and they're hoping here, they're determined. So that means they're coming. They already took the decision. I showed you the, the, the king over here grabbing the sword. I think I did. This is in the past. So this is typically <coughs> determination. This person is determined here. Uh, <coughs> and they hope that you're going to surrender to the sweetness. <coughs> we have this card here. It's almost like in this card, it's really cute because we see this beautiful, you know, woman here, right? She's wearing this, this cape and, you know, she came out to meet this man. He's in the water. She's not in the water, right? And they're somewhere in this beautiful paradise. Good God. Yes, they are. So, you know, he's here on his little floaty or whatever he's on here. Yeah. He, he's like in the water already. And she's looking at him like she just showed up because she's wearing that cape or drape, or whatever, it's a cape, yeah, it is, uh, and so, she's saying, she's, like, calling to him, like, I'm here, I came, I came to show up, I came to surrender to the sweetness, Venus energy, pleasure, joy, make love to life, they're hoping that you're gonna do this, 
you know, and when we see that, make love to life, say yes to change, jump in for this adventure, then we know that this person here is either making a sacrifice or transitioning from something, and they hope that you're going to be, that their transition here is going to be like worth it, not in vain. Nobody wants to do anything in vain in this world. No, they don't, right? Yeah, I don't want to give my neighbor a ride to the store uh, when her husband, you know, will be home in a half hour. Do you go with your husband? What the hell? <laughs> that reminds me of my aunt. She used to ask my mom all the time, who was a working single mother, even when my mom was not a single mom, she'd go, my aunt didn't work and she didn't drive, right? And so she'd tell my mom, I need to go all the way to like Cala Foods. I have these uh, coupons here. I'm going to save like, I don't know, $3 on like a hundred bucks worth of food. My mom's like, it's going to cost me more than that to get over there and gas, Julie. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, you got to weigh things out, right? And people would really kind of have some critical thinking about what's going on and not just take, you know, what they're telling us in the main they might be able to understand more and uh, what they can really kind of do here and what these people are really trying to do. Right? Mm -hmm. Let's get another card for your person here. Let's see what we have. And I don't mean your person when I say what these people are trying to do. Good God, no, you guys. We have the Four of Cups. They're hoping you're going to take their cup, Sagittarius. They're hoping this is not an illusion. This card talks about illusions. Like they're not just kind of thinking that, well, you know, I really want, I really want this. I hope Sagittarius will accept this, but I hope I'm not just like a fool, right? And just kind of dreaming about this or kind of, you know, uh, pumping this, pumping this up to something it's not. They think that you're going to like say what kind of like, this is just an illusion. They don't know if you still want them or love them. That's really what this is about. And in their fear is the five of swords or, you know, and the nine of wands. So here they are kind of fearing that, you know, uh, fearing that this is going to end up like, like bad change. Like, I feel like this person is going to jump in and they really want you to do this with them. But they're afraid this is, they're struggling with this. They're afraid that, that you know, you're going to kind of defeat them. Or there's going to be a major struggle between you guys. They could be afraid here that you think they're coming like as a wolf. Here's the wolf trying to get in here. Because you might be fearing some deception here, Sagittarius. Seven of Swords. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to end this reading, you guys, and we're going to go to the extended and we're going to, in the extended, we're going to see how they feel, which you don't know about them. And also their near future, the, the, the environment for this person, how they're looking at this, right? And of course their true intentions, their outcome. And we're going to complete the tree of life Oracle here. Yeah, we are, which is always, uh, really insightful and adds a lot to, uh, to the reading and, uh, yeah, it does. And, uh, those are always kind of fun and very interesting uh, that we can't really see with the tarot. Yeah. Or that is, it is. So thank you so much, you guys. And I have the link below. They're all super affordable and you guys, uh, God bless you guys. Please remember to like, share and subscribe.